Greetings and Namaste. I'm Eve and we are going to discuss how to cut spangle or some people call them sequin designs using Cricut Design Space. Although we are using Cricut Design Space, please keep in mind that you can still follow these instructions generically to cut sequin or spangle designs with a brother scan and cut with a silhouette cutting machine with a graph tech any other type cutting machine that you cut vinyl with you can use to cut spangle designs as long as you know how to use your cutting software to edit designs then you can follow this to cut spangle designs yourself if you don't use Cricut design space now you may be asking exactly what are spangle designs well to put quite simply spangles are basically circles that are cut out of holographic vinyl they are used to mimic rhinestone designs so this is a great more affordable alternative to using rhinestones to a person that's standing at a fairly close distance at first glance this shirt a person would fully believe that these are rhinestones however it's just holographic vinyl cut into circles what do we mean by holographic vinyl where well, here are two examples of holographic vinyl this one that the unicorn is made out of is called chunky holographic vinyl that holographic vinyl is great for large areas of designs so if there's a lot of space this looks great as you see this unicorn does however when you're trying to do spangles or sequins then these smaller circles of holographic vinyl it looks more like glitter but it's a little bit bigger than the glitter vinyl because the circles are smaller it reflects the light better and thus gives it a more realistic rhinestone appearance so when you go to make your choice for holographic vinyl these are the vinyls that you will look for if you want your design to look like the crystal rhinestones then this silver holographic is the one that you want to go for however you can use any of the beautiful colors of holographic vinyl to make your design pop now that we know what spangle designs are and what they are made of well then where do you find spangle designs well i am going to direct you to one of my favorite bling websites it's my file addiction Com. I'm directing you to this website not just because it's my favorite but because they also have a free sample bling design that we are going to use in this tutorial today so when we go to myfileaddiction.com you will notice that this website has SVG vector files as well as rhinestone bling designs that you can purchase she also has a $3 design of the week, which is an excellent deal. However, if we go to the top, notice it says what's on sale and freebies. Let's click there. This two color infinity heart design is the one that we are going to work with today. So if you click here and notice it says digital download, that's what you definitely want to make sure you see when you purchase a bling design. So add this to your cart, purchase, although it's free, the design, download your zip file, then unzip your zip file. After you unzip the file, then we can get started. I know I said that this is a Cricut Design Space tutorial. However, because Cricut has some weird habits, I use another editing program to edit my SVG files before I upload the design to Cricut Design Space. And there are three reasons why I do that. So let's go over them as we edit our design. The program that I use is Make the Cut. It's very similar to Sure Cuts A Lot. Either one of those programs will work. 
when we open up make the cut we want to go to the SVG or it says import SVG and click there then we'll go to our infinity heart folder which is right here infinity dash heart and double click it and because I said to import an SVG that's the only type file that opens up is an SVG so let's select the SVG and click open now that we have our design on the make the cut canvas let me explain reason number one why I use an editing program prior to uploading the file to Cricut Design Space the first reason why is because I want to edit the design most of your bling or rhinestone designs will come with the same size background this green square behind each one of the pieces to your bling design now this design has two colors this one would be red and this one would be silver when you go to bling it with your rhinestones to make it easier to layer your rhinestones they make these the same size however we're doing spangles so I don't want to waste all of this extra space for my vinyl I just I don't so I'm going to edit this file and eliminate some of this green space so I'll shrink it here now you don't have to do this but I don't like waste so I'm going to do this and now let's move over to the infinity circle and I'm going to do the same thing here great that looks much better lot a lot less waste of vinyl now I'm going to delete these small circles then we'll discuss the second reason why I use this editing program prior to uploading to Cricut reason number two is because of the way the design is made rhinestone designs are basically circles that will be cut into the flock that your rhinestones will be brushed into there's the green background but then notice each one of these are individual circles so imagine if this design is one square and a hundred circles that make up this design well when you open this in Cricut Design Space you will have a long list of one green square and 100 individual layers of circles that's entirely too many to upload into Cricut Design Space as a matter of fact if I try to upload that design here then it will tell me up here this design is really large and it's taking a long time to load to minimize that long list of layers I select everything on that part of the design then I come down here to where it says join or control J and I'm sure it's something different on shortcuts a lot but it works the exact same way where you can merge those circles onto this back green background and there you now have just one layer that's going to upload into Cricut Design Space so instead of 101 layers now you only have one that saves a whole lot of time in uploads to Cricut Design Space so before we move to reason number three let's go ahead and save this design so I'm going to select both of them then I'm going to go to file export and select to SVG file that's what I want to export this file as an SVG a new one so I'm going to select infinity heart because that's what the design is but I'm going to add Cricut to the end so that I know that this design has been edited by me to fit with the Cricut so let's hit save and now it says that it has now been saved as an SVG file reason number three why I use this program prior to uploading to Cricut is because if I upload this SVG to Cricut the way it is Cricut will upload it larger for some reason I don't know why Cricut does that but it's very frustrating to me but that's okay because there is a way to work around it what you want to do is select the entire design 
because that's how I saved it as an SVG. And notice what the size is, 13.8742. I'm gonna select the width. So I'm gonna drag and select the whole size and right click, copy. And that way that size is saved to my clipboard. Finally, we can use Cricut Design Space. So let's go over to Cricut Design Space and I'm going to select new. And now we'll upload. So let's upload image. We will browse. And here is our infinity heart folder. Notice here is the file I created. The SVG says infinity heart Cricut. So I know that's the right one. Select open. Now that we see it here, it didn't take long. Let's hit save. Let's select it on this page and then insert image onto our canvas. This is way faster than if I had not have joined this together and uploaded all of those circles. Notice it's just two files. So now that it's uploaded and it's on our canvas, let's look at the size. Wait a minute and make the cut the size was 13.8 something here it's 17. so you see for some reason cricut uploads it bigger let's change that so we'll go into the width and i'm going to select and select everything make sure your padlock is closed right click and now we will paste that's the correct size so hit enter and it will automatically resize it to the correct size as long as that padlock is closed so now this is the size that it is supposed to be when you cut it out. To confirm, you just look at your size here and double check it against the size and make the cut. As long as these larger numbers, 13.8 and 5.7 are the same, you're good. The smaller numbers can be a little different, but the main numbers is what you want to be the same. So now that we have our SVG uploaded, it's at the correct size, there's only one thing we need to change. The heart is one color, the infinity loop is a second color. So when you're doing this in rhinestone templates, the color doesn't matter because it's going to be cut out of the same material. But we're doing spangles, so we need to change this. It comes in grouped, so let's ungroup it. And now the silver, the infinity circle is supposed to be silver. So for the time being, we'll leave that black, but the heart, we wanted it to be in red spangle. So I'm gonna change it to red. You don't have to change it to the color is what you're gonna cut out, but you definitely want these to be two different colors. And now we'll click make it. And now it is on its own mat. So you can put your silver holographic vinyl here, and then you can put your red holographic vinyl here and cut them out. The only other thing you need to remember is this doesn't have to be mirrored because of the type of design, but if it's wording, then you definitely want to mirror it so that your words will be cut out correctly as you would any other HTV design. Before we close, I want to leave you with one really important tip and the really cool thing about spangles. Spangles are different from rhinestones in that if this is going to be cut out in a rhinestone template, I had to make sure that these were the exact same size as the designer intended this design to be because this was created for a certain size stone. So if I made this bigger with a rhinestone design and a rhinestone template, it would mess me up because I need these holes to be the size of the stones that I'm using. But you guys are using spangles. So when you're cutting the vinyl, it doesn't matter how big it is. Now you definitely don't wanna go too small because you're trying to cut those intricate circles in your cutting machine. And if your cutting machine can handle intri intricate circles, that's cool but it's better to be bigger in a lot of instances. So you can make these any size you want to be, but you want to be sure that when you resize them, if there is a layer that's going to be over the top or needs to fit in to another part of the design, 
then you need to resize them together as one to make sure that the size of both are relative to each other because you don't want your infinity loop to be too big for your heart and then it doesn't look right. So you want to size them both together. I appreciate you joining me this evening for this simple tutorial. I know there were a lot of steps involved. When you do this several times, you will get used to it and you will absolutely love it. Now, all of those steps were necessary, especially for Cricut Design Space users. You other guys may not need to go through all of those steps, but this is how I go through the process of cutting out spangle designs using Cricut Design Space. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you letting me know that the video was helpful and that also lets YouTube know that you have found the video to be helpful as well. Thank you for watching our video and enjoy cutting out spangles.